BSc Economics 111 first semester you have four GST courses one PCR ENT and echo and bus uh, and bus one of five and that amounts to 22 credit units however you are required to pass a minimum of 21 units from this semester which means there is no chance of failing any course here you must pass all of them but there's no one unit course here unless you add another one that is two unit course which you have the right to do but remember that it will increase your fee in the end but doing so will give you more opportunity to pass even if you fail one course if you fail one course and you still made 21 units you may not need to rewrite the course because what is required of you here has been fulfilled now you have but failing any course must not include GST. So you are retaking them if you fail any of them. GST courses from any any semester. You must not fail anyone. So here we have three unit courses. The amount for registering three unit courses are two thousand five hundred. This is an error, it should be 2,500. So 500 is missing here, it should be 65,000 dots. So we have 1,000 generally for exams registration, 2,000 for one unit and two unit courses, that's the cost. And then the sum of this and this is what we have here as total in this total column. Which gave a total of 28,500 should have been 29 because of this error here. So we just make it 29, and in the end, we have 65,000 as your actual fee for the first semester in the school because there's a compulsory fee. First compulsory fee is 36,000, but other, fee, other compulsory fees for other semesters is 18,000, half of this one. You pay the six because of resource verification, jam regularization, and all that. So uh, in second semester, the search is not needed. All those are not needed. So we go to second semester, 100 level, and these are your courses. You still have some GS, uh, GST courses to offer, and 17 units are required of you, which gives you more opportunity to add as many courses as you want. If you fulfilled from previous semester, you, you carry them over here, you bring them here. Second semester, you register them. If you fulfilled anyone from first semester, you bring them over here and register. Or you could add more, even if you didn't fill. Like we have extra three units here, which means if you fill one course here that has three units, you will still have the opportunity to move forward and graduate without issues. You graduate without issues because you have made the 17 units that are required from this semester. So here is your fee 43,500. Call it 44,000. There's still similar error here. Three units should be two five, so you call it forty four thousand. Okay, we move to two hundred level first semester. We have these courses one GST, and you have registered twenty one units where you are required twenty units. Twenty units is required of you, which means you must pass all these courses since there is no one unit course here. If you fail anyone here, you are taking it. However, you might add one more course so that if you fill only one out of all of them, you still have made 20 units, but not GST and not 
Your echo curses. Don't go, don't think about those ones. If you feel any of those, you are retaking them. 200 level first semester, in the second semester, you have these courses to GSTs. 17 courses are 17 units are required of you. And you register 17 units courses. You could add more if you have more in your papa. Well, if you failed from previous ones, you can bring them here to make it 24 units. This 18 here is for direct entry students while 100 uh, those that started at 100 level are required of 17 units those that started from 200 level are required to make to pass 18 units that's it and here's your fees which means if, uh, if you are if you are direct entry students you must add one more course so here are the fees and the sum up to this amount 42,500. So you add 500, making it 43. Your money is not going anywhere as long as it is in the portal, you will still make use of this in future. Okay, so we go to first semester 300 level. You have just the 302 business creation and growth, which is very important to enlighten you more about businesses um you can you are you are expected to write business plans and present it kind of defense defend it and some scores then write the exams e exams uh, for now i don't know future it might be pop for now is e exams uh, that all gscs are e exams so um here are your other courses your eco courses is, is taking is taking over only two courses are not equal which is giving you the sense that you are studying economics now you are expected to pass 21 units as uh, someone that started from 100 level if you, if you started from 200 level you are expected to pass 22 units from this semester meanwhile we've registered if you are registering all of this there are 22 units in total they are 22 units in total. And your fee, your total fee is 45,000. Second semester, 100 level. Uh, only one is not a uh, course, and you are expected to pass 20 from here. Both the direct entry students and uh, 100 level students, those are started from 100 level. Uh, we have also registered if you register all of this they are amounts to 20 units so this is good for both direct entry students and those that started off uh, from 100 level and here's your fee 44500 so we go to 400 level first semester there is no other course apart from eco courses you can see that and your research project begins at 400 level first semester not second semester and some other programs yours begins at first semester okay and the total of 20 units are required of you from this semester which includes this project six units you are paying 15,000 for, for for project is general for every undergraduate students for now you don't register them for exam, that's why here is blank. You only register them as a course. Yeah, even though there might be no there's nothing like course material for it. You do everything on your own. And the amount for the uh, for this semester is fifty-four thousand. First semester four hundred level. Then this is your final semester a four hundred level. You have all these courses included. 16 of 16 you are required you've registered 16 and you must pass all of them you must pass all of them in order to graduate without error without issues and they're all to two units coincidentally and the same fee for all of them a total of forty-two thousand. now 
here comes the deal. You have registered 100 and a total of 158 unit costs, credit units. Now you are expected, the school or the senate requires you to pass 52 units out of 58. Which means, out of this uh, 50, after out of this 58, after all these courses you've registered, you cannot fail more than, let's say, three courses, if they are two, three units. Because you have 158 in total, and the minimum is 152, so only six units are left. You can only fill a maximum of three courses if they are two, two units, or two courses if they are three, three units. Direct entry students, you are required to pass 128, minimum of 128 units. Minimum of 128 units for you to graduate. So, Currently, if you, are, if you are in this semester and you've, you've seen your results, you should be able to know your total credits and which credit units end are the ones you've passed. You've seen the results and they are good. You've passed them, they are not carryover. You've passed the courses. So how many of them have you passed? Are they up to 152? If they are up to 152 or 128, if you are the rented student, that means you are a graduate. You have made it. And congratulations to 